guys, I'm here at the arena and we're going to be talking about loadouts today. Today I'm going to be talking about the loadout that I've been using quite a bit lately, especially you know at the arena here. Uh, this working really, really good. I really, really like it. But it's a simple Kronos on a holster with a mess of speed loaders that I printed on a little rack thing that I built and a dump pouch. That's all there really is to it, but it works really, really good. It sounds simple, and it is, but the Kronos has a 13 kilogram spring, a uh, loading door for the speed loaders, holster, um, Griha grip, and not really a whole lot else. Uh, the cosmetic front end was just a piece I printed. Doesn't really affect performance. Uh, it's shooting around 140-ish, and in certain instances shoots like laser straight, and I'm able to like just snipe people from across the arena uh, on a good day. So it's really effective for picking out shots. It, what it does lack is, of course, rate of fire, because you have a, it is six shots, relative, relatively strong spring load. But the benefit is, I guess, being able to pick those shots instead of uh, when I'm using a flywheeler, quite often I'm spamming through ammo a lot quicker because it's, you know, a lot more uh, inconsistent. Um, I am getting pretty consistent shots with this, trajectory-wise, um, and it is as effective or more so than other loadouts that I've run in the past, but it's lightweight. I do, uh, it, it's on a holster on a drop leg panel that I modified a little bit. Um, instead of having just a single strap up top, I have this one as well, but I have one on the, the two top ones come either side, front and back, just to keep a little more support so it's not going to wiggle around as much. And it rides higher on my leg, just because when I'm running, I don't want to have as much mass flopping around here, because I I just wanted as, as much mass, everything kind of more towards the middle here. That's why I also like having, instead of using some kind of drop leg setup, my little uh, speed loader array here rides pretty high, and I have a relatively small dump pouch. This is just a quick, you know, not a lot of weight flopping around kind of loadout thing. But it's nice to be able to, you know, crank off six shots. <laughs> quick and easily, there we go, be up and running again. And so I can, uh, whereas most people, when they're using the Kronos, they got to poke, you know, five rounds back in. But, uh, to be able to, you know, somebody knows you're out of, shot, out of shots. In fact, I had uh, a guy two times ago, screwed him up because he was counting shots. I'd have one more. Plus, I can duck behind cover, still keep an eye on what's going on, drop that in, and be good to go again. So he, it, he actually caught me after one round, and he's like, you know what, I usually count shots so I can you know, jump in on a guy. But he says, with you, I just avoid you altogether, because that thing hurts, and I don't know how many rounds you got, and you load too fast. So that right there puts you at a strategic advantage, because, you know, I, I admit I rely on people running out of ammo with Kronos. So when I see, like, oh, there's Kronos guy, I usually kind of single him out a little bit because I know he's only got five shots. So even if it's like a one-to-one -one thing, I still have one shot above him. Plus, in like, what, a second and a half or whatever, I didn't time it. You know, I can just have another, you know, six shots ready to go. So effectively, that gives me, what, six here times five, 30 shots, which isn't a whole lot. But given that your shots are a lot better placed and more regulated, it's a really, really effective loadout. In fact, I've rarely run out of speed loaders, but just in case, I still run a handful of rounds loose in the bottom of the dump pouch. That way, if, even if I'm out of uh, loaders, I can still duck behind cover, crank it open, grab a handful, poke them in, hopefully to get through the last guy or two on the other team, you know, before the end of the round. But it's just a, a really, really nice, Loadout. This is one I've been running almost exclusively late, lately. I've actually had to push myself into using more uh, more different loadout stuff the last couple of weeks just because I liked it too much and because there's times when this thing goes for the ears. I don't know what the heck it is, but there's, there's been several weeks where I'll go through and I'll, I'm just nailing ears all day and the little kids don't like it and it makes me feel bad. But, you know, it is what it is. But, there again, you don't need something really, really elaborate or fancy or anything like that. Like I said, it's just Kronos. I don't, the only reason I have the holster is for if I use this with something else, or at least give me a place to put it while I'm 
talking to everybody else between rounds or if I'm reloading. So the speed loaders themselves, uh, they'll focus, uh, aren't really the greatest file. They worked, they were just the first file that I printed. Uh, took a lot of modifications to get them to work the way I wanted them. Um, I had to trim a little bit on the on the inside here so the rounds would come through easier. Had to change the top because the um, top cap didn't really fit right. So it was a lot more work uh, than I really anticipated. But the fact that I was able to print them and as many as I needed uh, was, you know, kind of the selling feature there. The pouch here, my little pouch setup thing, not really a pouch, it's just a panel on a piece of uh, what, quarter inch scrim foam, uh, which is uh, upholstery foam, kind of sandwiched inside some old apron material that I had scrap leftovers. And this is just a piece of very, very thick webbing. I had considered using elastic here, but I wanted something that would hold its shape to where I could quite easily just, you know, grab them and stab them in instead of having to kind of fight and loop it around and trying to get it in. I can just grab them quick and easy, replace them if I need to, good to go. The nut pouch here, I believe, is, is the smaller one that Containment Crew sells. I bought it at Endwar, I believe, last year. But it works really good for the speed loaders because they're just, you can fit all of them in there without really causing any problems, but they're not gonna bounce out. You have a nice semi-rigid open end here. Also works good for just like a scavenger loadout if you're not using the speed loaders because you have just a nice open pouch that still carries as many rounds as you'd really need. So, like I said, just nice, quick, simple, uncomplicated, yet extraordinarily effective, for my applications, type loadout. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that, and maybe uh, give a simple loadout, just a pistol loadout, a try, because I've been able to take out several Nemesis guys and very uh, heavy loaded out guys on the arena. So try new things and see how that works out for you. I'll see you guys later.